to Strictly Come Dancing, the live tour. There's a queue for the toilet, but all of our couples are ready. We're ready, are we judges? Yeah. The thing is, Nottingham, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Come on. They're ready. Uh, now, Craig, when I danced on the series in 2015 and then again on the tour last year, you were the nut I wanted to crack the most. <laughs> what will have you showering our dancers with praise today? Tell darling. <laughs> Something Karen Hardy wouldn't know much about. So singing down tonight is going to be absolutely fantastic. We have amazing celebrities and we know from last year how good they really were. So um, it's going to be very exciting to see them all, my love. Well, with the exception of one. <laughs> say about Ed Balls or on his home patch, you know, he's a Nottingham lad, so be very careful. I wouldn't want to take this bunch on. All right, judges, we're going to have a great night. Gang, listen up, this is how it works. The judges' scores are... ...to partner Cassie Jones, TV presenter and singer Louise Redman, and her partner Kevin Clifton, and BBC sports presenter Ari Duper, and his partner... This is, of course, Ed Balls and his partner, Cathy Jones. Now, in this routine, they're going to be hitchhikers. Now, Ed may not know his way to Amarillo, but he certainly found his way into the nation's hearts. I think when I started, I was quite awkward, a bit shy. I just decided to let go. I was suspended in a tab warmer on a piano, a Zoolander male model, yellow suit with a green face, finger mask, and what? We just had so much fun. 
well. He's a brilliant, kind guy, and we absolutely had a blast. You got a standing ovation. We spent so many weeks. The only reason we kept coming back is because people voted for us and they said they wanted to see us again. So we're doing the American Smooth Fox Drop. When we did it on the live show, the only thing people remembered was that thing. It's today the day where the lip works. Who knows? Dancing the American Smooth, Ed Balls and Catchy Jones. is commitment. You have so much commitment. I love it. Well done, both of you. You know what? It doesn't matter because you've got a huge reception here in Nottingham because you're a local boy. Probably hope doesn't feel like that. I grew up here, came ice skating uh, in the ice skating rink and now back here doing the Foxtrot with Katya. Tomorrow morning we're off to Crossdale Drive Primary School in Keyword to teach them a bit of gang now. And that was so, uh, primary school. My primary school. So it's very nice. It's wonderful to be here. Wonderful. It's great. Yeah, they love and it. And I've got to say, the only reason we could pull off that big lift is because this fabulous Nottingham crowd cheered us all the way. Thank you very much. It's a very special crowd. Really special crowd. 
Rachel. Now, Katya, be honest, before you were paired with Ed, had you ever heard of him? I think, uh, no. <laughs> and now, do you know anything about British politics? I do. I've learned a few things from Ed. Um, I've learned uh, how to win elections. On <laughs> uh, But mainly, to win elections, What's really important is to get the vote of swingers. If you get the oh, swing voters, <laughs> swingers are something. I'll let you explain that one to the children. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, let's get the scores. The judges' scores are in. Craig Ravenhall. Two. Then <laughs> good. Oh, I can do a number two on your head. Right? <laughs> standing pretty close to it now, but if you would like Ed, your local boy, to lift that glitter ball trophy, then all you have to do is vote for him when we open the phone lines at the end of part one. Before you go though, we would love to have a little clue as to what's coming up.
Star. I think I need to lie down in the dark room for a minute, really. <laughs> when, when you slip through Catcher's leg, you will have a mechanic checking for an oil leak. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, let's be honest, then. We're all here, all these people have come to be entertained, have fun, and have a good time. And that's what you deliver. So, I nearly fell off my perch this morning. I stepped out of my bedroom and there was this wall of fame and there were presidents and kings and all. And then there was you on the wall. I'll have to show you a copy right outside my bedroom window. But anyway, that aside, I have got to say, your commitment is one thing, but how difficult that routine really is. There's the step at the end which we call around the world. Katya nearly took flight and went round twelve. It was absolutely brilliant. And I do remember just briefly, you did say to me once, you caught me on set and said, Karen, what would you mark me? And I said, well, you know, darling, I'd give you a two for your technique, but listen, you bring us the magic, I'd probably give you a ten if I could one day. So, just to say, it is fabulous what you do. Well done. Beautiful. And, uh, Craig, have we possibly saved the best comment to last? <laughs> Dreadful. Do, do you know what, Ed? I'm going to let you have a word back. Craig, <laughs> we all know you can talk the talk. <laughs> but what we want to know in Nottingham tonight is can you walk the walk?
Williams or something. I mean, what the heck was going on there? I have no clue, darling, but it has to be one of the highlights of my entire career. <laughs> you know, I once was a respected judge, you know. <laughs> now I'm just a comedy act. <laughs> That's all right. Work for Julian Clary. <laughs> Memorable. We're scarred for life, whatever it was. And thank you so much for being such a brilliant uh, sport. Uh, I think we all just definitely witnessed something we'll never forget, and it's time to bring some sanity back to the dance sport. Daisy and Ali Ash with 53. Leslie and Gorka have 47. And down at the bottom still is Ed and Katya with 40. Is that Ed's mum in the audience screaming there? <laughs> But we are honoured to have you on the, on the road with us. So I'm going to take this opportunity to delve into your brilliant dance mind. Lane. Oh yes, you've seen so many routines on the 14 series that you've judged. I'd love to know some of your highlights, your top picks. Well, just before that, Annette, I've got to say, I think this dance that we've just seen from West Side Story has got to be a highlight. Yeah. And the band, yeah. the way you played that, it, it, You know, it's so difficult to pick just a few out of so many, but I've got to go back to 2015 and Jay and Aliona's job. You know, it, it was just fantastic. Wonderful routine, great dancing, and everything went together beautifully. Now, I know that you've got a few clips from my new DVD, which is signed and on sale out in the foyer. So let's start off with a little bit of Jay and Aliona. We can do just that. and it was like there was electricity in the atmosphere. Yeah. Everything changed when that yeah. dance happened. It was amazing. Yeah, so full of energy. Now, the next one is, we're going to go back for 10 years. Karen, lovely Karen. And didn't she do a great job judging tonight, everyone? Yes. Didn't she say? Oh, Mark. Karen danced with a hunky cricketer. Mark ramped for cat. And and they did a salsa to hot, hot, hot. And I tell you what, the dance was hot, the performance was hot, and I've got to say, Karen, you look pretty hot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at Mark and Karen dancing a salsa 10 years ago. Let's have a look. <laughs> But it still feels like just yesterday. I still remember that choreography. And thank you, I got a place on your DVD. Thank you. Yes, you have. Oh, yes. Thank you. Of course, you have. <laughs> um, Len, it's not always about the dancing, though, is it? Oh, no. That's the joy of Strictly. You know, you get wonderful dancing, but you get such great fun and entertaining. And I think of all the pros, the one that produces the most fun is Anton. <laughs> You know, he's had a few challenges over the years with different, <laughs> different partners. But I think probably his greatest challenge was Anne Whittaker. <laughs> Dancing the samba to Heaven Must Be Missing an Angel. <laughs> and I remember he wore these yellow sparkly trousers. I think you've got them now, Craig. <laughs> yes, yes, I've got them in my Hampshire house, Sally. Just a quick question. Am I on your DVD, girl? <laughs> yes, I think you, you make a few special appearances throughout it. Oh, because it goes from It's worth one. buying now. Oh, yes, of course <laughs> it is. What I loved with Anton was when she, you think he's finished the routine and he disappears, but no, he comes back and gives old Anne another scene to him. Off he goes again. He won't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at Anne and Anton. I think Love we it. have to remind ourselves of this one. Here it is.
trip down the lane. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we have all been waiting for. The results are in, so please welcome back to the floor for one last time, our couples. <laughs> announcing them in no particular order. The first couple who are not tonight's champions are... Leslie and Gorka. Also out of the competition are... Ore and Karen. Remember not to yell, these are in no particular order. Not lifting the festival are...
Our fantastic host, Miss everyone, Anita Barney.